Okay, so in this video I will install my beloved software co-reader on the Paper 7 from Harbor Innovations, an RLCD, reflective LCD tablet that can run Android apps. So here we have the Paper 7 with an RLCD display. That means that this display needs to have a light source. It doesn't have any light source itself, so if you are in a dark room, this display will be totally dark. And if you are outside in direct sunlight, the display will be the best you can get, because then it will be very bright and nice to look at. Here in my studio, I have some studio light and so on, so it will be quite good for reading at least. So I have installed two reading apps uh, that I use at the moment, and that is Storytel. As you know, I love Storytel. It's a streaming service for both ebooks and audiobooks. So here is Storytel with all the books, uh, one million or so books available in your account. So you can read whatever you want whenever you need. So for example, here I have a book from Mo Hader. No, sorry, not Mo Hader, R uh, Riley's Sager. So I can read this book on this RLCD display tablet. So that was um, Storytel. And I have also installed BookFusion. BookFusion is an app that can be installed on all Android devices and all iOS devices. And you can sync your books between uh, these devices and have uh, highlights and notes, everything synced to you. So here, for example, I have a book I uh, have in this uh, app. So I can read in this app uh, and uh, have this synced to my iPhone, iPad, uh, all the ebook readers I have that has BookFusion installed. So that was two app I use and I also installed Kindle because uh, many questions about this will always be about Kindle. Uh, even if I don't like Kindle anymore, uh, the Kindle UI and so on. I like Kindle devices, but not the Kindle UI. I get a lot of questions about the Kindle on any device I have. So here we have the Kindle app opened on this RLCD tablet, the Paper 7. So I can read in Kindle on this. So that is the reading app apps I have at the moment installed, but now I will install CoReader. So let's start by searching for CoReader. I need some glasses for this, sorry. CoReader GitHub, that is what you will search for. So search for CoReader GitHub and click on that GitHub page as you see here. You should always install CoReader for the, from their own GitHub page, never from an App Store whatsoever. If you're running Android, then you should install it from the GitHub page, not an App Store. And that is because uh, this is the version from them and you can install plugins and uh, patches and so on from this version. You can't from a, a CoReader from an App Store. So let's uh, scroll down to download, click on download. And now it should open the last version. Now you need to scroll down to uh, all the download files like this. Now you should find an ARM 64 version and Android. As you see there, CoReader Android ARM64, that is the version for this device and most devices that runs Android. So download that and you get a, a, a warning here if you want to download a file that you can install. Download anyway, like so, and open it. Would you like to install this app? Yes. Uh, and here it says it has blocked this app to install and just click more there and install anyway. 
and now I need to type my pin code to be able to install this up and it immediately installed it after typing the pin code so that is how fast it is now we will open it please allow the file manager to find all the files yes like so we go back sorry now I lost so let's find co-reader and open it instead like so now it will be able to use all your files documents will be rendered in color on this device because this is an RLCD display it has color so it will be showing colors when there are so here is the user guide the normal user guide and down here you can set up everything as you want so here for example you can set up the margins as you want left and right margins maybe 10 are good but uh, let's say 8 instead set that as default like so and you can do top and bottom margins the same way and we can have that to 4 for example like so apply uh, set as default that means that it will open like that in all the books so now we can do all the other settings if we prefer on this and we can do line spacing for example uh, I like to have 110 sometimes depending on which font set as default we can do uh, uh, how large the font should be maybe like that maybe only that uh, you know you can do that if you prefer exactly as you want so I long press on this and set as default and now word spacing medium word expansion none uh, we can do some uh, contrast settings uh, let's do this in the faster way we do it like this now we have 15 it's the best contrast settings for me uh, the max you can have like so and here embedded style on I like to have that and here up at the top we can uh, choose a different font now I don't have any fonts installed yet so maybe the font I have is the best option let's say we want that font instead and choose that as default like so so now we have that as the default font like so you can do all the other settings that I have shown in a lot of videos. Go check my co-reader playlist up to set everything as you want. Now I want to transfer a book to this device by going to my library. I don't have any library yet. So uh, let's uh, create a, a library. Uh, we have all the folders here so create a new folder here called books sorry books like so and long press on that and set that as the home folder now when I click on this it will always go to the home folder that's nice so I have a calibre started so let's see if we can connect to caliber uh, wireless settings uh, let's say enable wireless set inbox folder we need to have an inbox folder co-reader books is my inbox folder like so uh, now we go to caliber again we check the wireless settings automatic yes it should usually work with automatic so let's connect 
Uh, now it's connected to my Calibre server. And now let's say we go to my disk. device now it is so fast you you i couldn't show you in uh, real time how fast it was uh, transfer these books but now i have them uh, it was very fast because this is a really fast device and caliber on my mac is very fast but let's say i want to read this now we click on that you see beautiful gorgeous color on an rlcd tablet i really love this device actually i really do it's so nice this device too bad when you have a dark environment then you can't read at all so you need to have some light somewhere to read with this unfortunately but uh, here we have uh, and i it should use my settings that i had but i can't see it uses the font i choose maybe it didn't let's say if i have that phone yes it have that font yes um so we can see that we have something larger text i i want to have a large font as you know uh, some people doesn't but i do love large fonts uh, maybe this is better for me as you see so this is just a short video showing that i installed code reader then i have a lot of settings to do to have everything as i want for example the status bar i will change this as i want it and much much more but uh, at the moment i think uh, this is it for my video so that is how easy it is to install code reader on this rlcd tablet the paper 7 from harbor innovations check the links down below where you can read more about it and buy it even so this is a really nice device so far but uh, once again i warn you if you don't have any light environment where you want to read then this will be a very dark device because it needs a light and lights down on the display itself to be able to read on this device otherwise it will be very hard to read so you need a good light in the room you're reading or even better read outside or near a window for example then this will device will be very good to read at and it's so fast because it's like a, a real android tablet or your ipad in that fast way you can watch videos in full 60 fps re refresh and you can even game on it if you prefer that because it's so fast compared to ea ink this is very fast so if you're annoyed by ea ink's uh, speed and uh, ghosting and so on an rlcd tablet can be better for you but once again no light whatsoever on this display so you can't use a front light or a backlight it doesn't exist on this technology so you need to add an, an external source with light otherwise other the, the sun or a lamp or a window with the direct sunlight or um, outside uh, light so uh, speak of so that is one something you need to think of when using this rlcd tablet you need to add your own light to be able to see anything on the display okay bye